And then, can I first ask you, did you say that you had taken uh, some of these photos or all of these photos? Yes, all of these photos. Okay. And again, this is from the search warrant of Seth Kenny's business in yep. November? Okay. Yes. Now, I want to say uh, just quickly, what is, what is this shot? Um, this is the back alley entrance into the building. Okay, next. Uh, that same alley entrance. Okay. Say on the record which exhibit it's J. They're, they're, they're putting they're amassing and into a J. All right. Yeah. When you switch to K, yeah. let us know. Yes. When you switch to K, let us know. Yeah. You can't get those pictures any bigger just out of curiosity. I mean, it's up to you. But yes. Can we make those a little bigger, Mr. Bullion, if you just zoom in? Okay. And hey, ma'am, did you say what what that one was? Uh, this is an, another angle from that back alley. Okay, next. Again, a different angle from the back alley. Uh, yeah. The gate leading into the back alley. Now, is this how this, this looked? Okay, this one too. Uh, this is how this looked when you went in? Yes. Does that appear to be disorganized? Yes. Okay. Was, and again, this one is very disorganized? Yes. Okay, next one. What is this picture? Um, this is facing the entrance from where we came in. Again, there's stuff everywhere. Do you agree with that? Yes. Okay. The next one. Okay. What is what is that one? I believe this was a look into a closet. Okay. And is there uh, pizza boxes there? Yes. Did you know if he lived here too, Seth Kenny? I do not. Okay. And go to the next. All right, and is that the one, Mr. Bullion, with the rounds, if you can show that? Okay, what are, what are these we're seeing? These were boxes and boxes of ammunition. And this is what I was kind of mentioning earlier, there was a lot of these, correct? Yes. Okay, and, the, and there was other places where these were? Okay, here, are these more boxes? Yes. And are these all different kinds of ammunition? I believe so, yes. Okay. And again, uh, I think you said you couldn't recall whether you all went through all those boxes. Uh, no, I could not recall. Okay. And, and keep going. Okay, we're flipping kind of quickly, but what is this, uh, this machine? I believe this was a vice that was sitting on a counter. Okay. Okay. And then more ammo boxes? Yes. Now, zoom in on this. Um, did you see any of them with the JS? Uh, yes. Okay. And you know, that's a fairly common box. Uh, have you seen that in Seth Kenny's business as well? Uh, yes. Okay. Now, these ammo boxes in general, you're aware, aren't you, that they can be purchased off the internet for 25 or 10 bucks? Uh, I don't know that. So. Okay. I mean, but these are standard little white boxes. They're all over the place. Are you, are you aware of that? That they're standard white boxes? Yes. yes. Okay. <laughs> And these, I mean, you, you, or you're familiar with these, aren't you, in your job? You with, see these type of boxes? I see ammo boxes, not necessarily all white ones with certain stamps on them. Okay, well, if, how often do you see JS? Uh, not a lot. Okay, <laughs> but you do see them from time to time. Uh, not that I recall. Okay, well, there's a lot there. Well, yes, in uh, this case, uh, there were a lot of JS boxes, but okay. in my seven years crime scene tech, I haven't seen a lot of JS boxes. Do you know what JS is? No. Okay. <laughs> okay, uh, next one. And, and again, we got 32 Smith and Wesson, 22. These are more ammo, right? Yes. Okay, next. More again, the JS. Uh, is that the JS there? Yes. Okay. If, if you can move forward. Okay, and, and what are these? These are spent casings. And do you see the, um, the primer, how it's dented? Yes. What is the significance of that? That means that this round has been fired, so a firing pin has created that indent in this casing. Are you aware that there's a, a thing where a, a primer can be slightly dented, and then if it was struck again, it could go off? Are you aware of that? 
Um, no, I'm not sure what you're referring to. If a hammer hits a primer and it doesn't strike it hard enough, it can create a small indentation or dent in that, I'm correct? Object. Um, I think this is pretty far outside her scope of expertise, and we've got plenty of other witnesses who can answer Sure, those we, we do. Okay. Okay. We do. okay. So if you can move to the next picture, Mr. Bullion. And then again, what are just uh, if you can give the jury just an idea of what, what these are, is that more ammo? Yes. Okay. And again, that's in a, and that one in particular was just in a gray tub? Yes. Okay. And the next one? What, and what are some of these pictures? Uh, this was the front room area. Okay. Again, is that more ammo boxes in this, this particular picture? Yes. Okay. Okay, and again, is that a JS notation? Yes. Okay. And yeah, you can move forward, please, Mr. Billion. Okay, when you go back uh, one, is that a gun, gun belt? Yes. Okay, and go forward. And again, more ammo? Yes. Okay, and we've seen enough of those. If uh, unless you have anything in particular, but that's uh, we get the flavor of those. If you can move to the church pictures. Oh, is that K now? Uh, There's a couple that are different. Okay, go ahead. Put those up. We're still in jail. Okay, what is this picture? This was a box that was located marked Live Ammo 1883. And, and again, that was what we talked about earlier? Yes. That's, okay, and what is, what is this one? Uh, this is an overview of where that box was located. Okay. And, and finally, what is, what is this one? This is what was inside of that box. Okay, and there's uh, several in that uh, Live Ammo, there's several boxes here, correct? Yes. What was that? What, what were those that said lead? I don't recall. Okay, you don't recall what was inside those? Uh, no. Okay. They're labeled of uh, various types. Did you go through all those? Yes. But you can't tell the jury today what, what was in them? I don't recall what was in them. I only collected 45 live rounds out of this box. Okay, and here's 45 LC. Is that right? Yes. What are those loose rounds around it? Those were, I believe some of them were uh, live 45 rounds. Okay, were those collected? Yes. Okay, and how about these? This was a close up of what was in that box marked uh, 45 LC. Okay. And do you know what is in this picture? Uh, this was a, a green ammunition box that was located. Okay. And these appear to be more dummy rounds, is that right? Yes. Okay, okay if we can move to a K. Is there going to be a, 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 some kind of demarcation so that we know which is J, which is K? Uh, yes, Your Honor. We need to go back and make sure that that's demarcated. Okay. We'll do that. Well, while um, we're finding that, I have a couple more questions. The round you talked about in government or States 49 earlier that had um, ball bearings in it that didn't shake or, or apparently were stuck inside, do you recall that? Yes. And that was the one you sent off to the FBI lab? Yes. So that would have been around potentially on set that didn't rattle? Yes. And that... So that would have been around potentially on set that did not rattle, correct? Yes. But. Um, you had to send that off to the FBI lab for confirmation to determine that, correct? Yes. And that's not something either Ms. Zachary or Ms. Gutierrez-Reed had the luxury of on the set, did they? No. Okay. 
Uh, we also heard um, yesterday Ms. Morrissey shook a round into the microphone. You remember that? Yes. And asked everybody if they could hear it? Yes. Again, that's not something Ms. Zachary or, or Ms. Gutierrez Reed had the luxury of on set, did they? Of rattling around? Of having a microphone so they can rattle it and have everybody hear on a microphone. No, they didn't have a microphone that okay. I know. Okay, do you have the church pictures ready? Can we put those up? Uh, can you just quickly tell us kind of what we're looking at here? Is this David Halls? I don't know who the individual in the back is. I was taking a photograph of the back of Mr. Uh, Baldwin. Okay, so earlier, did you tell me you didn't see Mr. Baldwin? This was the, uh, the only interaction I had with him was photographing what he was wearing and then taking the clothing that he had on. Okay, well then you knew when you photographed him, he wasn't segregated in a car. Well, when I photographed him, he wasn't, I have no idea what he was doing before or after that. Well, well right then he's standing outside. How long did you see him? Uh, my interaction with him was probably less than 10 minutes. Your Honor, she's indicated that she has no idea whether he was segregated or not, and we have plenty of other witnesses that can reasonably he, answer this question. That's okay. He can ask that question, and, and I think and he I'll got the forward. answer. Yes, and I'll move forward. Okay, um, okay so ma'am, what is this? Uh, this is the outside of the church. Okay. And this one? Um, another angle of what's outside the church. Do you know what the card is that we just saw? I'm not sure what you're referring to, the card that's in the photo now? Yeah, just we went by it. If you could go, you know, go the other way. This one. Um, that was one of multiple equipment cards that was located outside. And when you say equipment cards, were these, so these were on set, Productions carts when you got there. Yes. Okay. Keep going. And what is that? That that big structure in the back of that photo. Uh, are you talking about the small structure? You're talking about the white structure. The white structure. I believe that was the uh, prop truck. Okay. And do you see that that appears to be outside of the crime scene tape? Yes. Okay. Okay, and these are more photos of the church, is that right? Yes. Okay. okay. What is the next? Uh, the prop truck search warrant. Oh, the prop truck. Okay, can we put those up? And this prop truck search was just, uh, October 27th, correct? Yes. Okay. Mr. Bowen, what is the letter on these? Uh, this one is M. M is in Mary. Okay, just a minute. Did we finish K and L or? Yes. Okay, well you, all right, so we went into K. You didn't tell us when, when we went into L. I apologize, Your Honor, all the church photos were L that we just saw. All right, well, let's make sure that when you send them to the jury, they have them properly marked, okay? Yes, Your Honor. Thank you. Yes. All right. M. No. Okay, this is M as in Mary, this series. Um, now, what is, what is this here? This is the outside of the prop truck. Okay. You can move if you can. This is the exterior and side of the truck. Yes. Okay. And what is, what is this picture of? Uh, this is the side door entrance into the truck. Okay. And this is the interior? Yes. Okay. Okay, and this is a gun belt in the interior of that truck? Yes. Okay. And what are these we're seeing now that we're zooming in? Uh, this in particular is a 45 LC ammo box. Can you also approach for a moment? Yes, Your Honor. 